What's up, dude? Hello. Well met. What up? How are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> I'm laughing. Oh no. Um, okay, who are you? What do you what do you got for us? Uh I'm a GM offlaner. I play in open division and I have a URL replay just because people have not really misinformed people, but her perception is I think improper. Okay. Uh I'll be completely honest. I don't know very much about her. Um uh, we haven't started scrimming yet, so I don't know like anything about her. Uh, I haven't played her yet. Um, all I've done is just read about her. So this is going to be more of you and I kind of theory crafting about this hero. I see a 13 minute game, so something bad happens. That's for damn sure. Our comp is a little questionable. Okay, talk to me about level one. Um, Light of the Karabor, actually, I'm going to talk about the one I picked. Uh, Maraud's Insight for off laning is just, in general, better because it allows you to trade more efficiently. Yeah, so you kind of weave in your abilities and your auto attacks. Yeah. Good for trading, and what about this one? Um, I think if you're picking it, it's mainly for the range. It's kind of a bait talent, okay. similar to Dauntless. Are you feeling it's Maraud's Insight most of the time? Yes. <laughs> when you want to excel on your own, make sure you distract bot lane as hard as possible with pure defensive talents while you have Sylvanas. Solo push the top keep. Monka shake. I should just ban the word Sylvanas in my chat, actually. Winding up the wings there, buddy. Yeah. Is it ever time out? No. It's infinite. All of her abilities are infinite until casted. A day away from the epic sub train. But you're slowed by 25% until you cast it, so... There's a little bit of that trade coming through. She seems... Do you think she's good? Uh, In certain scenarios, she can be on maps like Volskaya and this one. Because of... Do you go um, Sacred Ground? No. Interesting. Although Sacred Ground is pretty good, I think Ardent Defender is the better one. Okay. Just purely because of 20 upgrade. Like, you can AoE heal your team what, for an insane amount. What scenario would you ever go her over Tyrael? Or Blaze? It, that's, what I, that's what I'm wondering. Like, from a min max yeah. perspective, I feel like you never would go Urel, especially as an offlaner, when you can go something like Tyrael or Blaze, or even in ETC. You wouldn't. I was just picking her for testing her out. Okay. Doesn't mean she can't work in Hero League, everyone. That does not mean that. I'm just saying from a pure min-max From a competitive yeah. standpoint, she's less highly valuable. Yeah. Nice. So you're just kind of saving your, uh, your W for when he has evasion up? Yes. Smart. Is this guy actually just hinting? And that was a DQ, right? Yes. I don't, I don't understand what's happening. The guy just got bodied. Yeah, I was confused when it happened as well. And this was like the second day she was out or something. And people were still on the don't pick her train. Okay. It's actually pretty crazy sustain if you get that... Uh, What's your D cooldown? Isn't it 10 seconds? Yes, 10 yeah. seconds on her D, and then her abilities are like 5 or 6 seconds each. DQ auto attack is crazy sustain with yeah. that level 1 talent. Also, cool. for wave clearing, you want to like use E and then insta-cast it, because it's the same damage as, like if it's full channel, as it is instant. Ah. But then that's the only one the that doesn't not scale. having a gap close or yeah. an escape ability. That's one of my issues with there is like you have to use all of your abilities to wave clear instead of like one or two. I see. That's interesting. Uh, so you'd only use that when all enemies are missing off the map, yes. basically. 
kind of like a Stuka of arm. Jeez, you're giving these guys a run for their money though. Watch, he tanks the minions because he's a god. Also, just because you're wanting to push the wave, <laughs> but still, I'll I'll just call you a god, okay? Yeah, if if I was properly doing that, I would have tanked it to where the towers would have killed him. Yes. And freedom grant an allied hero 35% movement speed for three seconds and remove all slows and roots. That was because they had Kane. Okay. And I think Otherwise, that talent's probably going to be the best since Kane and Malph are the best supports right now. Tank. And Stukov with the 13 root. Is this a good ability? I feel like Gift of the Naru is insane. Gift of the Naru is good. I think all three or all level, all level fours are fine. It's just like what you need. I probably should have gone Gift of the Naru though. If you were playing her in rotate, would you be going Light of Karabor and um, Gift of Naru? Probably. Just for the or not Light of Karabor. You'd still be going to auto attack. She's kind of like a. Th Second melee, I guess, or a main tank, like you'd be going the auto attack heal. Okay. You know the range on that? The E? Yeah. You just like... Yeah, it's nothing. It's like from the bottom tower to the top tower. It's very little range. I love when I don't have to tell you to do things. Well, like the dubbing into the towers? Yeah. Some people wouldn't do that. So I just want to show everyone here. If you have any abilities where you can displace... Ah, Katan. Yeah. Do it. Get on the backside and use it in towards the towers so that they tank it. Because this camp is just going to continually spawn these stupid doggos. The little Mishas. just want to show that to people that might not be as good as you. Alright. First objective, how does this play out? Why are you still top? Just to match him? Instead of... Yeah, I'm just trying to match him. Since he doesn't have a global and he has to like go through me. And there's... Sh no, we're showing one in one bot, but ours is a global. There yeah, we and we're up uh, 14 monkeys. I think that this guy should beat you in a fight, no? In a, in a full HP fight, yes, he would beat me. But if I have an HP advantage, I can win. Wait, do I lose this objective? It looks like it. You're in pretty big trouble. Yeah, I, I feel like my team should have killed Joe there. I had four people on me. Oof. Oh, and I'm trying to finish it, but I can't. Yeah, I think you should have came down earlier. Uh, you guys have the global. You're going to benefit more by having... Like, if you have the 1v1 and you have the global, that's just like straight up winning. Um, the fact yeah. that they're showing top just means that they're willing to concede the objective. Because if you think about it, you actually have five on this objective if you're here. But in reality, you guys only had a 4v3, but you could have had a 5v3 because they had showing here, showing there. I think you should have just gone onto the objective personally. So you decide to give the fort. Yeah, we were... Our bright ring was 1 HP and our garage was low. And we had one dead. Here we go. Now they're overextending though. Holy crap, Garrosh is taking every bit of his health pool. The squirrel of Johanna, god. He, yeah, pretty much. Oh, nice you. Decker Kane, though, he's gonna live because he's gonna get shielded right now. Yeah, if I didn't knock him out of that yeah. orb, he was dead. Yep. I hate Deckard Kane, man. People complain about Chromie. 
People complain about freaking all these other heroes. I complain about Deckard Kane. Can I complain about Blaze? Oh yeah, no, that's that's appropriate. That's that's literally my hero because offline. <laughs> Dude, oh my! I tilted out of my mind after seeing that. <laughs> like that's all I said, but like I was straight tilted. Why? Stop caring. I know. Actually, I don't think I was so. I was just confused and concerned. I was confused and concerned. Nice. Whenever I see the Raptor mount, it just makes me want to play World of Warcraft so bad. Same. It's a really good mount. Yeah. Also, this. So this glad they fixed the animation. Would your LB be busted if all of her abilities were the max without having to channel them and then increased cooldown on them? Uh, Your channeling probably. seems so dumb. It's If it's like not a 1.5 second channel and you're not slowed, I think she'd be better. Also, that 7 talent is OP. Whoa. Well, it's like Crusade. Oh, no, I guess it's just like Divine Steed. Horse. Well, like the ability Divine Steed in World of Warcraft. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. I, didn't, I forgot about that. That's actually so OP. It's insane. You can use it mid fight too. It's very busted. But of course, taking any damage uh, removes it, right? Yes. Oh man, this is a hundred second cooldown. I feel like that's really yeah. Really... Forty second compared to a hundred is questionable. That is. Your other heroic just better. 100 second cooldown is crazy. It also lasts like no three seconds. Oh, yeah, three seconds quite a bit. Quite a bit. Can you use it while it's CC'd? Probably not. No. It's not like. Okay. See, like, I feel like her other ult on maps like this, don't you just drop it in on the shrine? Yeah, so you, lit you, like, you would drop it on the right portion and then you just sit there. Yeah. And they wouldn't be able to get you out. Especially, like, if you had the Deckard on your team, that, that's how I thought that she was going to work. You just put it down, like, right here and then have Deckard set up potions, like, yeah. Permanent 40 armor. It's 40, right? I think, isn't it? Yeah, it's Permanent 40 yeah. armor until she leaves. Oh, I thought he was going <laughs> to... How are we down so much? I guess that first objective, they got... Mid. Uh, the first objective, the top four and missing soak. Yeah. They got mid off of the first objective. Man, you needed to rotate down, damn it. Maybe we were up 14, I thought we were fine. Yeah. Then I just try to finish objective, but it doesn't that happen. Cool down now. It sucks. I don't know, man. I this hero looks really bad to me. Like really Conce conceptually, bad. she's fine. Balance wise, she's not. Hmm. To me, she seems like a really bad Tyrael. Uh, that's probably accurate. I I feel like this heroic should be a forty second cooldown or a fifty second cooldown. It, it should be like seventy. A hundred seconds. Like, to me, that's just like a giant wow. That's, oh no, and we just lose off this push. 
Yep. Hmm. I don't also, my leaving was tilted from draft because of my pick. Which was not the right thing. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, you got a solo kill and you pulled two top the entire game. That should have been. Excuse me. Every camp on the map because of it, two people represented top, like the entire laning phase. I mean, I feel like you guys could have uh, just absolutely bodied off of that, but definitely rotate in earlier. Um, but I don't know. This is interesting to see how she worked. But I, to me, man, I feel like you would never draft this hero. But no uh, you out. can draft the hero, this hero, but it has to be done in a certain way. Hmm. And for certain scenarios. All right, I can feel that. Um, interesting. Did you? Uh, okay. Well, thanks for submitting this one. I mean, it was short-lived and everything. But... Yeah, I just wanted to talk about Hero. Yeah. Because I, like, she's better than people think she is, and a lot of people underestimate her. Whereas, like, yes, you wouldn't pick her over a Blaze, but you can pick her as like. Like if they have a dog or something top lane, then you could pick her, and she would do fine. Hmm, okay. Yeah, she seems so weak, dude. That That's yeah. actually crazy to me. I, I feel like this is a bug. There's no way this thing should be a 100 second cooldown. She's She should be tuned on Wednesday. Yeah. So Zagrug spamming her yesterday to good success, and he seems to think she has potential. But yeah, she has potential in like the tank lane. Yeah, I was gonna but say. But she just has like she's like main tank too. She has no engage. You have to play it a certain way. Yeah, basically just like how Tyrael is played. Um, kind of just sustaining up your team, rotating. I, I think that if you played her with this build, uh, I can't even look at your talents. The the Q level one, and Q level, and then Gift Naru level four. I feel like you can rotate with a team and actually trade up because you have a heal on your warrior that's actually pretty damn good and then if she yeah. has a sustain healer as well and it's over a control point and you use the other heroic with that style of build the amount of sustain you have is insane and she has 40 percent or 40 armor the entire time i think you could maybe play her in scenarios like that but aside from that man she seems super weak yeah i was going to build that i had success with and this was like my first or second game in her league with her so oh you I was were just testing stuff out you tried that uh, one and you had success like i had been going the heal on one the brute, the mount, and then like I've gone both ults and I think both are fine. Okay. Um, and then like all thirteens are fine. Sixteen, I think, is holy wrath. Um, Carithro, I wasn't saying that your Q at level one heals. Your Q at level four does, right? Divine purpose. Yes. It's the trait. Oh, okay. Divine purpose heals the lowest health nearby allied. Hero. Okay, never mind. I thought. It and then the spell different. power at thirteen uh, goes with the heal. Okay, sorry. I thought it worked differently. Um, okay, so then no, this. I don't even think you have to go this. It's probably just this. Or this could be for wave clear. Could be for wave clear. And then this at. Four. Divine Steed seems busted, dude. That's so cool. It's insane. Either ult, I think, is fine. Velen Chosen works with a Gift of the Naru to where it increases it. Okay. Basic ability at maximum charge grants. Ah, yeah, yeah. But then you don't get it on the heal because you're using the D. Yeah. Mm. Like, if you get a triple Q and then D, I think it's fine. Okay. Um, but any 13 should work. It's just like, do you want more <coughs> healing for your allies, damage reduction, or utility? I, I don't list it such a bait talent. It's so bad. Is it actually? I guess it's only yes. two seconds. Optimal way to play her is in a protect the siege tank. Yeah, that's kind of like what I was thinking too. Not yeah, she's a peel tank. Yeah, she's just like an etc. Not kind even of. a protect the siege tank. I'm saying like a it's, control it's just like area. a kite comp. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean like to play her as a control a single area. 
you take control of the area. You yeah. have Deckard's cane to set up potions. You have your back line here. Um, a set zoning team. Exactly, a zoning team. And then you have the her sacred Like ground. you have Garrosh controlling the right portion of the shrine. You're all on the bottom portion. And then your cane and everybody else is on like the top side. Like that. So you either force them to rotate all the way around or just not do it. To me, that's how you play her. Yeah. But... Uh, uh, Holy Wrath or Divine Favor at 16 are probably the best. Holy Wrath just increases wave clear and gives her damage. Divine Favor is just for... Ooh, I feel like gives dude, an this, this looks insane. Especially if you st build that style. Yeah, you can... If you cycle your abilities properly, you can have it on like a 2-3 to three second CD. And then 20 is either <coughs> Upgraded Ult or Seraphim. Seraphim is just a 10 second... Unstoppable. It's stupid. Don't pick Bubble Hearth. That's a meme. I wish, like, I love this sort of stuff, but I wish that they wouldn't put it in the game. I mean, it's like it's funny. It's funny but can't it be just but it's not good. instead? Because this, to me, people will pick this talent, and it's yeah, it screws your whole team over. I really wish. Like, that. it's good in like one scenario where you need to get back, Whoa, and you can't be interrupted. Yeah. Oh, okay. Effectively, it's an 8-second CD. It's stupid. No. I think both upgrades are fine. Hmm, Gord of the Glory into like a Disintegrate Leaming or something. Or a Tychus, if you're being focused. But dude, this is insane. Yeah, that one's insane. Like, if they have like a full CC comp, like an ETC, Alarak, something insane. <laughs> Alright, well, thanks for showing this replay, man. This is a good one. Yeah. Um, yeah, thank you very much, and uh, I'll catch you later. Later. Okay, you guys. Uh, what do we got here? What rank is he? He's uh, Grandmaster. The individual talent tiers on the heroes are some of the strongest.